Venetia Crawford. I live in Pontiac County. I work at the Pontiac Archives and I record history for future generations. Then the passengers needed a way to bypass the falls. Three entrepreneurs, John Egan, Joseph Omont, and Ruggles Wright, built a railway that started at what became Pontiac Village. The train ran on wooden tracks pulled by two horses three and a half miles past the Shaw Falls and through the woods to Lac des Shaw. There another little village grew up, Union Village. This was the third railroad in Canada the first around Lachine Rapids at Montreal and the second around Niagara Falls. The logging business was booming. The steamships were doing an excellent business. This was the heyday of the Ottawa Valley. remaining building of Pontiac Village. Uh, Tom Draper lived here, but um, there's not much of it left. When I used to come here, I used to be able to climb upstairs and pick apples out of the window at the top, but now there's not much left and I wouldn't like to try it again. This is the Blessed Well. Uh, it was blessed by Father Brady in around the 1850s. People would get bottles of water from this, this well here. There's not, nothing left of it, but you can still see it's wet. And um, in 1851, there was a diphtheria epidemic here, and everybody got sick except the people who drank this water. And the same thing happened in 1853 with the cholera epidemic. So it's the, the, the verse that goes with this is, the Pontiac water is holy indeed, drank only by those in need and not given to animals in halter. In 1854, the Union Forwarding Company was formed. They decided to build a canal to bypass the Shaw Rapids so that boats could travel from Montreal up the Ottawa River via the Mattawa River and the French River to Georgian Bay on the Great Lakes. This took hundreds of men, many teams of horses, and tons of gunpowder to blast the granite rocks that hindered the creation of this impossible project. Two years later, the money ran out, and the politicians abandoned the Georgian Bay Canal project in favor of a route that became the St. Lawrence Seaway. The laborers lost their jobs, and when they were not paid for their work, they burnt their boarding houses. Pontiac Village, which had been the commercial heart of the Ottawa River, became a ghost town. <laughs> 